A mother's anguish. Rizana's mother broke down when talking on the phone to this social worker who had supported the family throughout the case. The girl was 17 years old and had never been out of her village. In this, her first letter home, she writes how difficult she was finding the job. It was work, work, work all the time for her and uh, lack of training in running a home. Because she's 17 years old, she has not had the experience of bottle feeding children. And she went as a housemaid but was given the task of feeding this baby. Sri Lankan papers gave full coverage to the case. Numerous attempts to secure pardon during the seven years since she was sentenced to death failed. Even this last-minute appeal from her family, filmed three days ago, came too late. And it's this shack that Rizana's family calls home, a home she had hopes of rebuilding. It's poverty that pushed her into the situation. I'm sad for her as a fellow citizen that she had to face this end. Broken dreams, disappointment and even death. Common factors for thousands of Sri Lankans like Rizana searching for a better life. For those left behind, nothing but heartache. Mina Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.